Hi guys, it's Kylie the Jellyfish, and today I'm going to be reacting to a video by BuzzFeed. Oh no, did I download the mp3? Oh. So, this video is by BuzzFeed Yellow. I have to put it in the description below so you guys can watch it for yourselves, give them credit and everything. I used to watch BuzzFeed all the time. I don't watch them too much anymore. I just kind of like click on the videos from time to time when they look interesting. Uh, I like the Try Guys because Eugene. <laughs> Alright, with all that being said, I'm going to just watch the video and react to it for you guys. It's a deep side part. That's not a deep side part. That looks like yes, a big anime. Yeah. <laughs> a bandana made out here. People have said my hair looks like a helmet. I'm Nina, and I'm gonna be dressing emo for a week. Hi, when Nina. I was in high school, it was like the height of like emo ness. That's when, like Fall Out Boy was my great. space. Me, Disco, my chemical romance. I like loved the aesthetic. I felt dark inside. I just like wanted to be a part of that. I would like wear band t-shirts here and there, but I wouldn't. I'm like, wearing one today on only because of the theme of this video. Straightened hair. I don't really wear band t-shirts too much. I couldn't anymore. fully commit because I was just too self-conscious about drawing attention to myself. I am a little nervous for people to suddenly be Whoa. looking at me as those while I have such a strong though. aesthetic on. I feel like I have to be dark now. Like, I feel a little bit ridiculous, but also really good. Because this is this is how I like always. I have friends that still dress like that to be honest. When I step out that door, I don't know what it's gonna be like. But that's okay, I'm not judging. Would you be friends with me in high school? Some people like, judge me. I would try to have dated you because I was not out. It's just wow. what you like, Hot and I accept topic, that. Just, like, threw up all over you. People keep using that phrase. It's like a good Charlotte concert. <laughs> yeah, now you look. Now I'm like, scared of you. Yeah, now you intimidate me. People were definitely noticing me. I don't know if they scared. were like, mocking me or thought I was ridiculous. It definitely made me stand out more to strangers. I get a lot of people at school like, asking me if I'm goth. Are you a fan of this look? To be honest. Yeah. Do you I think like it, his do you hair. Think it suits me? It's very messy, but like... Yeah. I can dig it. Lots of people did like the look. Probably because she has it nice eyebrows. Of, like their high school selves or like people they knew in high school. This is mm. my second day of being emo. I have teased I used to have my a hair, lot of... like a lot. I think I have oh, like I a lot of I didn't tease my hair, but like, I used to a lot. A bit, and then I'd be like, I was no, going to do it today, but... And so I just like keep seizing and seizing and seizing and that like eats away at all your time. I'm wearing a Fall Out Boy shirt. I used to have a lot of studded like belts. I'm wearing my same studded belt from yesterday. As ridiculous as I kind of look as a whole, I feel I super never really confident listened to and like super badass. Like, what is the belt holding up? Is it just my it's my just sadness? <laughs> what do you think I look like? Scary. You look f***ed up. I love that outfit. <laughs> I love Peter like Pan colors. I don't have any, but I want one. More vulnerable in your appearance. I think that's really cool. Lots of people told me that I looked scary, and I was like, good. I want people to be a little bit scared of me. I mean, there's I don't nothing really feel that like scary I scare about people. being emo, it's just different. I think it's like this very Wednesday Adams I'm approachable because like, people that are like this looks, typically have to adopt this whole aren't very judgmental. The ones that I've handled, like, or dealt with. How do you feel being seen with me? Oh! Being seen with you. <laughs> I just feel like I'm hanging oh. out with someone I would hang out with when I was 13. I oh used God. to wear the big bows That's in my how hair. I when I was 14. <laughs> it was, this is probably my least favorite outfit out of all of them because I feel kind of uncomfortable. I just feel like very schoolgirl. I wouldn't say that I'm like I've ready dressed for it like to that be like over, recently too. but like, it is like a, a lot of effort in the morning for me anyway. But quite so much effort in. But I do like how confident I this look makes me. You feel confident Today with that? Today is my last day. I'm actually surprised. Emo. Right now, I'm wearing when I dress like this in public time, sometimes, it's like, like it's very eye-catching. I can't I handle that sometimes when I feel a lot more anxious than I don't necessarily wear sometimes. like all black all the time or necessarily pair certain pieces together, but they're all there in my wardrobe. Just just waiting for me to, to realize my true emo -ness. Some random person today who just saw me in the hallway told me that I looked fierce. I've never spoken to or seen a person in my life. That no. made me feel good about myself. I'm definitely gonna Some take elements of this look and continue to use them in my life. It's gonna be sad when I have to come in and look normal tomorrow. I got to live my high school fantasy and it was amazing. I just felt like I could like take on the world. I was more assertive with people. 100% yes, I do recommend it to other people. I want to see really the comments. Is, like a fantasy role play where you just I really liked the Peter Pan color mood. dress. Just that was my favorite day for her. You talked to me who like never talked to me. I was like Oh, this is like a real uniting force that like a lot of people around my age felt. It is like wearing a costume for a week and it's fun because then you just get to take it off after a week and it's like you're back to normal. So maybe you learn so something. One of the comments, the okay. <laughs> my opinion is that 
opinion on all this is I think it's nice that she found it uh, like a boost of con confidence. She kind of found like that people were nice to her. Um, I feel like a lot of people on the internet receive a lot of hate for expressing their style like that. This video is just called I Dressed Emo for a Week. And um, if you guys know me, I made a video a long time ago over the summer called Emo Reacts to Emo Cringe Compilation. It has been one of my most viral videos that have gotten a lot of people to my channel and uh, it has gotten a lot of hate on it as well as a lot of love on it. Um, I appreciate the love. Uh, the haters, I really don't care about. I just, you know, I do see the comments. Um, I just know they're going to happen so they're not too shocking. But um, technically I don't, I don't consider myself emo like literally. Like, oh I'm so emo. But like, I, I totally get where the style comes from and where the genre comes from and it's like a culture all on its own. It's a mixture of style, um, a culture of people that all know each other through like the same type of scenery, like the same type of um, genre of music that they listen to, the style, the um, it, they even have a stereotypical way of personality that they hate life they want to kill themselves they cut themselves all this other stuff I don't believe that is the definition of emo I think that's de the definition of someone who is suffering from just um, sadness in their life and, and you know like depression I'm not saying every emo kid has depression I'm just saying like it's a typical thing that many people consider being emo but really self-harming is not being emo being depressed is not being emo. Those are some things that everyone struggles with from time to time. A lot of people have these disorders or these these things that they struggle with, but that does not bring them into the culture or the genre called emo in my opinion. It's a very opinionated thing. So I know I'm like probably going to trigger some people. Um, go ahead and express it in the comments below if you want to. Please be respectful of other people's opinions, but you can totally say your opinion because I am. Um, this is a free forum, but uh, I shouldn't talk too much anymore. I'm just saying I think emo is a, is like music and style and it's a culture um, where you know everyone is kind of in their own cultures and, and being on the internet, it's gotten a lot larger because people are so much more exposed to everything around the world and um, I just so happened to be identified with the scene because back like four years ago I got really into the whole emo genre but um, I've kind of just grown with it and it, I don't know how to get out of it. I don't consider myself emo anymore but people know me as that. I still have some band shirts. I don't listen to Sleeping Your Sirens, Black Veil Brides, uh, Pierce the Veil, or, or MCR anymore. I mean, I do listen to them from time to time. I still listen to MCR probably the most out of all the emo bands, but I just kind of listen to all kinds of music now. Um, I listen to 60s Garage Rock and um, Keaton Henson indie music and like all kinds of things. It doesn't define my genre. It doesn't define who I am. Just emo is like what people typically associate my appearance with. But that's my opinion on all of the matter. Um, I'm really glad I watched this video and I um, I wanted to get it out of the way that like I don't like cringe culture and I don't like people that look at people as a whole genre or a whole scene and see them as like cringy or like oh I hate people like that they're cancer like cancer is a disease cancer is not a group of people or a type of person like I don't know it's just like even though it's hurtful I don't get super triggered anymore by that stuff because I do understand humor and I do I can laugh along with it but um I also don't like that it kind of promotes hate and it promotes people feeling bad about themselves for what they like. Like, don't judge someone. It's kind of like kink shaming, but not so much as a kink. It's like, your your personal style is something that, like, if you like something, you can't help it. You can't help but like something. So, why would you hate on someone for expressing what they truly enjoy, what makes them happy? Anyways, I'm, I'm gonna let you guys go. You guys, please like this video. Um... 
comment down below anything you want to comment down below. Check out um, BuzzFeed, I guess. Um, BuzzFeed Yellow, specifically, because that's what this video is from. Um, by the way, my hair up here is a lot more vibrant than down here because I just dyed my hair today, but my extensions are not dyed recently. So, if you guys notice that this is more brighter than this, I don't know. I'm just letting you know. Don't judge me for that. These hair extensions are from VP Fashion. You can check them out below. Um, and my makeup, most of it is from Motives Cosmetics. Please check that down below too. That actually helps me out if you buy from their website. Um, my personal link. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe to me. And I'll see you in another video. Bye bye everyone. Stay epic.